Hi guys, today you're going to use ClassKick to organize this information about elements on the periodic table. So like Dimitri Mendeleev, I recommend that you start by looking at the element's atomic mass. AM in this case stands for atomic mass. And you're gonna look, hmm, which ones have a low atomic mass because I know that atoms that just have one proton or two protons uh, will be very light. Okay, well look here. Here's hydrogen that has atomic mass of just one. Well, that means that one probably should go in this first space. All right, and then you're going to look around and there's more down here at the bottom of the screen for something with an, the next smallest atomic mass. Oh, here's helium. It has an atomic mass of four. That's the next smallest. And then I'm going to look for something that has an atomic mass greater than four to put into this spot. And I will continue like I'm reading a book. However, there will be some blank spaces. And to figure out where those blank spaces go, you're going to have to look at the properties of the element so that um, we have a pattern in a family or group on the periodic table. Oops, that just jumped. On a family or group on the periodic table, I want you to um, organize them such that we um, have a pattern on the table. So that elements, for example, that form no compounds should all be in one group, where elements that form uh, a one-to-one -one ratio with chlorine should be in one group. Elements that form a one-to-two ratio with chlorine should all be in one group, okay? So good luck, everybody.